I'm Jane Dickinson, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and I'm going to demonstrate my original Zentangle pattern or tangle pattern called Overby. And the reason that I called it Overby is more to do with uh, the place or circumstance than the pattern itself. And I named it Overby because I keep several sketchbooks and a sketchbook might be here, it might be there, it might be over by the couch, it might be over by the dining room table, and I have an inspiration, I see something or hear something or think of something and I want to record it. And so I'm always looking for a sketchbook that's over by somewhere that I'm not. <laughs> so this is such a pattern and here we go. It begins with a simple uh, elongated sine wave, I'd say. Just a curving line like this. Then the second line comes and it doesn't touch here as many patterns do. It just skims along there. And the next one would come here, skim in there, and go there. And as you can see, there is no necessary regularity. I might draw a few more lines going in this direction, turning my tile because that's what's comfortable for me in drawing this pattern. So whenever you're drawing Zentangle, if it feels more comfortable and works for you and for your hand and drawing to turn the tile, turn, turn, turn. So where the curve of one ovoid shape moves into the next ovoid shape, you're going to draw a triangle. A little point and this point is curved and you can work up in any way of each of the sections but you see anytime you have these two lines coming close to each other as they are you're going to come up from one draw a curve and then join back to the other side and we'll do that here so you do that everywhere that those two sections come together. Like this. And essentially that is the fundamentals of overby. I tend to view personally this shape overlapping this shape, in which case your shading would be thus. So this piece that is over this piece has a shadow. Very simple. And you would do the same thing for each of those points. You're simply trying to add a little extra dimension to this tangle pattern over by. On the other hand, it makes a very nice simple pattern all of its own with no shading. And I can show you in a smaller section because scale, as in how large or how small a pattern is drawn, can make an enormous difference in the overall effect of the pattern in your finished drawing. So that's another way to work over by into a drawing uh, without it needing really any additional shading uh, because it has 
uh, line movement because of the curve and it has some visual added visual interest interrupting that line with the tips that you're drawing in at the end.